What's up guys? Basically what I'm going to be showing you here today is how to unlock the armor of Ishak Pasha. And I probably butchered that name, but that's alright. What you're witnessing here is me at a bookstore. You're going to get 25 animus shards and it's going to unlock this map that allows you to uh, get the map fragments of Ishak Pasha. And this armor that you're going to be unlocking and what you're looking at on the screen right now is one of the map fragments and what it looks like. I'm also going to be walking next to this awesome guy that would not share his marijuana because he is some sort of Taliban-y guy that wants to smoke it all to himself. So I was unable to partake in the uh, hashish, hookah, that sort of thing. And this guy's hiding down in a tunnel, skinny as all hell, can't even afford clothes that fit or look good. So he has to uh, spend all of his money on the weed. So I'm out. Anyways. I'm going to show you the last two map fragments that I collected just so you get a um, strong feeling of where you're going to be looking. You're not going to be looking all the time on buildings and you're also not going to be looking for them on the ground all the time. You are just going to be following the treasure map because once you get 25 shards, I had 6 out of 10 of the map fragments before I bought the bookstore uh, map but I was tired of running around looking for them aimlessly so it's definitely good to buy or get the 25 shards one of the shards you're going to be seeing on the screen right now just so you get an idea of what those look like if you have not played this or collected anything and we're going to be going on from there getting to the point where we go and get the last map fragment and then I'm going to stop doing the commentary and I'm going to just let it play through because What's really awesome about these extra little tidbits of, of missions that go on is that they usually have a vast like puzzle system that usually takes you insanely high up into the air and doing a whole bunch of stunts and a lot of things. And actually, to fully synchronize this coming up, to 100% what you're going to want to do is do the whole thing in under six minutes and I actually did not make that synchronization and that's because I fell halfway through the uh, the instance to my death which you are going to witness my death and it's, it's pretty funny and I wish I was doing this live because I swore up a storm and right here guys what you're seeing on the screen is really a beautiful and vast like landscaping of part of the map and, and you're going to see the last map fragment right here and then I decided to climb a little bit taller up onto the very tippy top of that and that's the first achievement that you unlock doing this is uh, worth a thousand words and that's going to be 20 points towards that you're actually going to be earning two achievements and a third if you fully synchronize this uh, this instance is what I'll call it but I'm going to show you guys here now on the map that I have unlocked now all ten and I'm going to be looking for the tomb now, although it's over in the far right. You can see it on the right hand side. I'm going to it right now. It says hidden tomb. That's usually an indication of where you're going to need to be, which is all the way across the map. So I re recommend using the tunnel system. But here we go. Let's get all the way up to the top of this little tippy tower and then I'm going to parachute down. Go past the little thing that kind of looks like the uh, part of the Roman. Uh, Holy hell, like I'm drawing a blank at it, but it looks really cool, and I'm about to parachute by it. It's directly in front of me. What the hell is that thing called? Man, it's in Spartacus. <laughs> I know that. But uh, if you guys could leave me in the comments below on what the hell this thing is called, because I am absolutely, absolutely drawing a blank right now at what this thing is called. I know it's an arena of some sort, and in this one it's called the Whales Adjacent, or some sort of thing like that. But... We're not going to let that ruin this commentary, are we? We're going to soar down here and uh, make sure you guys have a lot of parachutes and also make sure that you guys have a lot of uh, medical kits because you could fall a lot during this. This was really, really annoying. And on the map right here, just showing you guys a little basic understanding of where you're going to be on the map, going to do a little pickpocket. And if anybody knows... If anybody remembers RoboCop, whenever he gets pissed off and walks into the data center, sticks that thing in there. This is kind of what that reminds me of, except for this was back back in Ezio Della Torre's time. So now, 
Guys, I'm, we're going to be walking into this vast puzzle. I'm going to let it go on from here. Um, leave me a question or leave me some comments down below. I really like comments. I really like responding to everything that you guys have to say. And it's really important to me that you guys interact. And I really want you guys to let me know if you really like seeing Assassin's Creed because I really like the direction this channel's going in, going in with Assassin's Creed. But right now, guys, I'm going to let you guys get to watching the Fast Puzzle System. I am going to come back at the end of this and just talk briefly. And just remember, guys, subscribe. It's free. And then you don't have to miss a video. All right. Take it easy.
Well, that was fucking brilliant. Now, if we could get to the actual part where I make the jump. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me get through this puzzle and unlocking this amazing armor. It looks really, really good. If you wanted to have a mask in the game, like the armor that you get when you're uh, sneaking around in some of the army bases located in this game, this is definitely a really close one. And also, the way this shines is just unlike any other armor that you can you can possibly have and the way it worked in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is maybe that with Assassin's Creed 3 or whatever they're gonna call it you can carry this armor over and right here you're gonna see me coming out of the tunnel and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly the shine and everything else that's going on with this armor it's a dark it's a, like an orange and black and it has the silver and gold um, armor pieces and it does say that it deflects bullets and projectiles now I'm not so sure how good that is gonna work I have not tested that out but either way using this armor just running around is definitely worth it because it looks phenomenal so anyways guys this has been Dez I hope you enjoyed this remember subscribe you don't have to like it but at least subscribe alright take it easy guys bye